opens so many doors. Look at this. Look at this color. I like it. Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming, and this is Unboxing Companion BJ Wong. In today's video, we're going to unbox and review another product in this channel, and I'm so excited because. I got a new phone! This is the iPhone 13 Pro. And the reason why we purchased this new phone is because his phone was pretty old. I think it was like iPhone 10. So it was like three years ago and he is ready to change his phone. But um, my phone is actually iPhone 11 Pro. So it was actually work still working pretty well. But the new phone has like so many great features about filmmaking, photography and things like that. So we decided to do a swap. So we bought a new phone and he is getting my old one because all he does is to play Ray Shadow Legend. It burned the battery of his phone like crazy. So in today's video, we're going to unbox this iPhone 13 Pro. We're also going to review a tripod from Amazon uh, because I heard that this iPhone is a pretty good like vlog device. So I got a tripod from Amazon. The seller did send me this. So I just want to disclaim this, but I'm very, very excited for this because it's a flexible tripod. So we're going to take my new iPhone 13 Pro outside, maybe take some video shots, some pictures and I will give you my honest review. <laughs> Whoa! There are many colors to choose from. I chose this one. It's the, what's the blue color? Blue. I think it was like a Sierra, Sierra blue. I think one year they had like a Sierra gray or something, but this year is Sierra blue. I'm very excited because I think this is like the first time they have a blue iPhone, right? I don't know, maybe. It matches the computer. Well, my computer is silver. No, but, you have a blue computer. It matches the blue computer. But I don't have a blue computer. I have a silver computer. I do, but it's okay. <gasps> it's time to buy me a new computer. No, no. I got my new computer this year. So we're going to unbox this. All right, guys, this is the new iPhone. Um, it's in the Sierra gray color and I bought the pro version just because I want to use this as one of my vlog device because sometimes people get super nervous around my vlog camera. So when I use my cell phone, people are like, oh, you're just using Instagram. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble a lot of times and sometimes I get really shy to vlog in public. So it comes with three cameras just like my iPhone 11 Pro. This is my iPhone 11 Pro. But look how different it is. The lens are actually bigger. Do you see this? Double size. Yeah. And also I want to say um, the design is also very different because it's more like a... Flat edges, not rounded. Yep. 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 And weight wise, it's way heavier. Okay. It's time to turn this on. I do want to say I definitely need a case. So I know this one it actually has like a better screen and it also has a smart setting that like sometimes it saves the energy and sometimes it just have like higher frequency. Whoa, look at this. Oh, hello. You can see a reflection of my little camera. So this is a cool feature. You just set up your new iPhone with your old one. All right, guys, after two hours, we finally transferred all of my pictures and videos into my new phone. It actually looks pretty cool. It was really easy to transfer everything. Well, it took forever. It took two hours. Well, it's mainly because of the pictures and videos, you know, vlogger type of problem. So now it's time to put this phone into test. So first thing, we're going to unbox this um, tripod iPod and this is actually a um, foldable, flexible tripod. It's from this brand GoPhoto and this is what it looks like. So if you have a pole, like we have a railing over there or like anything, you can actually bend it and it looks pretty cool online. So I decided to give it a try. So let's open this. Boom! All right, so this What's is a that? tripod. It also comes with a clicker. So when you take your selfie, then you can use the clicker. So That's this is cool. what it looks like. Clicker. So you can actually use it for your phone or for your camera, I think. And there's the, this twister thing right here. So when you do this and you can actually flip this like this way, like this. But if you twist it a little bit more tight and it would just be harder to um, change right here. So yeah, and the best part is this is also like a 
tripod for camera so not only can you use it for your phone they also have a camera this is also cool so if you want to take it this way you just do it this way like this that's cool right and then you can untighten it and then you can put it straight like this so it depends on where you want to position the phone if you want to make it horizontal or vertical you can literally change it this way and then with the little like tripod thing you can bend it like this isn't this cool let me see and also oh, and it tilts up and down like yeah and you can connect this to your phone and you can use this one for your for taking selfies so this is what it looks like it comes with a selfie clicker which is pretty nice you can turn this clicker on or off that's pretty cool right so this is what it looks like you could use it like this or let's say if you want to film like a youtube shorts or tiktok you can just bend it like this see how cool it is i think this is the coolest feature because you can actually film like horizontal or vertical videos mm -hmm. yeah and then this is one tripod for both the phone and the little camera so it's pretty good for content creators or just for like any selfie use okay, so now we're gonna take this little tripod and my new iPhone 13 Pro out we're gonna film some clips and we're going to test out the cinematic mode which I'm super super excited supposedly it should be like comparable to like you know, this is the cinematic video. Let's see. I should have like a blur background, blurry background. So we're gonna now go to Trader Joe's and probably film a little bit clips here and there. And we're going to show you, like also inside of house, we're gonna show you if this camera is actually worth it. If it's actually worth upgrading your whole phone just for the camera. But so far, super good because it has an ultra ultra zoom lens it has a three times zoom lens because in my iphone 11 pro i think it was only like like twice so that was cool and it also comes with cinematic mode where it has a blurry background and it auto focus on face like night right now so right now i'm auto focusing on my cat even though there is like a purple drink in front of my cat it's still focusing on my cat and that is really, really cool. Another thing about this new phone I heard online is that they were saying that the low lighting performs really, really well, either, even in the wide camera. So I'm super, super excited about this and we're gonna put some footage. So we're gonna put some footage of this phone right there and we'll come back to you guys and review this footage with you guys and we're gonna decide if it's actually worth it. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. We'll be back soon. This is the tripod guys, look how cool it is. So it's currently just hooking onto this reeling because it's so flexible. You can just hook it anywhere, just make sure you double check if it's sturdy because you know, this is just a brand new phone, I have to be very very careful. I definitely don't want to break anything right now, but this is what it looks like. And it's actually pretty cool. Sometimes I know it can be a little bit tricky vlogging because there's no good place to mount a tripod. but. This opens so many doors where you can mount the camera for a selfie, you know, if you're a fashion vlogger or a vlogger, a content creator for Instagram, or this is really, really cool. So what's going on, it's wrapping around right here. This is what's going on. So I actually really like this tripod. So yeah, this is gonna be really great for creating uh, YouTube shorts content or, you know, TikTok content and things like, even with vlogging, because I love that white lens you know on my phone now i am doing the cinematic mode on this new iphone i am not looking at the screen so i don't know if i'm focused i don't know like what i look like i don't know how i look like in the whole frame if the ratio is good but this is the cinematic mode and this is probably gonna be like how i'm gonna be vlogging just in case like if my camera is out of battery and things like that another thing about vlogging with iphone is that it's very easy to put in like a microphone because there is a mic jack like you just need a you just need a connector to connect the sound input the microphone input and that'll be all good. hey you guys i just realized i didn't turn on the face recognition mode that that's why i was a little bit out of focus in that previous footage so now i think i turn it on i think with cinematic mode you kind of have to use the normal lens there's no white lens for cinematic mode which is a little bit sad see even the front camera has a cinematic mode 
this is cool. Like this is cool, and you can actually change how much depth you want it to feel. So you can change how blurry the background is. But oh, computational videography, it's so great. So this is the front camera and the back camera. I felt like maybe it's a little bit clearer, but also I forgot to turn on the face recognition in my first shot, and the whole thing was so blurry. But now it's good. Like I learned how to turn it on and off. Like it's just very easy. And yeah, so I have a front camera and back camera in the cinematic road. Um, cinematic road. We have front camera and back camera both in the cinematic mode, but except for the white camera, which is my favorite. Okay, so now we're gonna go shopping and let's film some more videos. Yeah. All right, now let's take this phone outside under the natural sunlight. I do feel like the white lens is still like not as good quality as the normal lens, and it's a little bit better than before, but not a big difference under the natural lighting. But the zoom lens is way more sharp. There's a huge difference with the zoom lens with the new iPhone. All right, now let's go into the Trader Joe's to film some footage inside under the like it's not low lighting, but it's definitely not natural lighting to see if it's actually good. Let me see. look more handsome. I think in the normal light setting, it doesn't make much difference in this phone and the older phone. Wow. Okay, let's do it. All right, so it's cinematic right now. I don't see any difference. Oh, this looks good. This is actually good. Like the cinematic front camera. Look at this. Look at this color. I like it. Okay, now let's go. I love this. My hair is actually not black. Let's go. I want the pumpkin yogurt. It actually tasted good. Under the unnatural lighting, which is like artificial light within the store, I do think the white lens looks a little bit better than the iPhone 11 Pro. It makes a huge difference with this upgrade indoors. Trend, yeah. Pumpkin spice cultured cashew yogurt. Yeah, let's try that one and this one. Well, definitely it's clear. The front camera is way better in the new phone, I think. And I like this cinematic mode. Yeah, I think the front camera is way better compared to the old one. Like, if you want to vlog with the front camera. How they compute the cinematic mode is that they kind of like make your face super clear with high resolution, like crispy clear, so that they can have a contrasting effect of the blurriness. So it's pretty cool. Like it knows I am the person that's moving and talking, and this one is just in the background. So this is actually pretty cool with a cinematic one. And yeah, it does, I don't know, like there is a difference between the phone and the camera still because. The, I feel like the color is highly affected by the lighting, obviously. So far, pretty good. It's way better than my iPhone 11 Pro. And I'm not counting this like as a replacement of my camera. I'm just trying to use it as a vlog device, which I think it's a great tool because sometimes I don't want to take my camera with me. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to drive home. I'm going to film a Trader Joe's haul and then I'll give you some final thought after maybe filming some clips tonight with a low lighting setting. Yeah. All right guys, I'm now in my living room. Actually, when I filmed this one, I've been using this phone for like over a week now. So I already know like what it feels like in a low light setting or things. Currently it's 11 p.m. I just want to show you some footage of the low lighting. Currently I'm using the wide angle. I can see a huge difference between the wide angle lens footage during the low light setting with the iPhone 13 Pro compared to my previous iPhone 11 Pro there's a huge difference because previously when I was using my wide angle lens during the low light setting it's almost not usable because it's very very grainy footage versus now I still look I think it looks pretty good I only have a little bit of a kitchen light but it's not studio but there's a huge improvement there and now we're going to switch to the normal lens to see if there's like a difference between the wide angle and the normal all right guys so this is my normal lens I do think the normal lens probably performed a little bit better when it comes to the footage 
But sometimes like when you talk to the phone, you kind of want to be a little bit close. So the wide angle lens that definitely works a little bit better if you want to show more of like the setting. And also like sometimes I feel like I'm like, Whoa. if I'm just using normal lens, it's a little bit too close, but it's definitely a little bit better quality compared to the wide angle lens, but both work really, really well. And actually the cinematic mode just surprises me big time during the low light setting. Hello, so this is the back camera with the cinematic. I do think that it's pretty good. It's more doable. If I film like a food review video, I will be like, some footage can be filmed using this phone, knowing that it will give me good quality footage as long as I have good lighting, even when it's like not natural light, a little bit low light. But as long as it's from the right direction, like maybe a little bit of studio lights, it's gonna look way better than the previous phone. Using the front camera, I definitely highly recommend that you invest in a good lighting because just see that if the light source come this way, it just looks so much better. Also, I want to show you another accessory that I got with this phone is this phone case. I actually like got the same exact phone case for my iPhone 11 Pro, like a phone case wallet with a strap. And this is how I hold my phone because then like it's very convenient. And then it has a zipper right here and you can put your cards, cash or anything, driver's license there. So I don't need any wallet anymore. I just need my phone. All right, so now let's compare the footage between wide angle and normal. This is the wide angle lens during the low light setting. And I'm filming my phone case and tripod, just like a close shot. And then now we're gonna switch to the normal lens. Here we go. It is definitely a little bit better quality for sure. The footage looks a little bit better, but sometimes you just have to adjust your hold. So wide angle actually works. It is a little bit grainy, just like by a little bit, but it's way better than before. Before, like my, with my iPhone 11 Pro, it wouldn't be useful. But this is the normal lens and let's do the zoom. Look at this, the zoom. All right, the zoom lens also works pretty well compared to the normal lens. Just giving you some idea. This is the zoom lens and this is the wide angle lens and this is normal. Yeah, hopefully this review video can give you some idea of how the iPhone 13 performs and yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this video is helpful to you to give you like an honest review. Like I'm not professional videographer or photographer. I know sometimes when professional videographer and photographer, they use like their iPhone, they can still film like super good footage. They can still edit really good videos just because they're professional. They know how to play with the lighting. They know how to play with like the motions and storylines. But for me, I'm just like an average Joe. <laughs> play with my camera trying to film some videos and Instagrams and you know TikTok so I think it makes a huge difference upgrading to this iPhone I'm really happy that I upgraded it and yeah not to say that you have to go out to buy this new iPhone but there's but just to say there's a huge improvement from iPhone 11 Pro to iPhone 13 Pro I'm actually really happy about this upgrade and yeah I'm so surprised that it actually makes a huge difference especially in the low light setting especially in the cinematic mode yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much like if you upgraded to the iPhone 13 please comment down below what you think of the iPhone 13 like which one did you get did you get the Pro Max did you get a Pro did you get the Mini and if you decided not to upgrade to iPhone 13, comment down below, like maybe, maybe iPhone 12 was really good already, but I, I skipped the iPhone 12. So yeah, just comment down below so that we can give each other feedback and tips and more informed decisions before a big purchase like this. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.